What is up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis here. We are back in the world of Minecraft, specifically uh, TDK Network's uh, Factions test server. And uh, Solar's running around like a crack addict playing in his little prefab area that he's made. Um, we are leaving alpha testing on TDK Factions, and we're going to be entering beta testing for TDK Factions, uh, specifically our first pass at the new enchant system is going to be going live. Uh, we're doing this Friday, right? Uh, tomorrow, correct. That would be Friday. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, uh, awesome. Uh, good news and bad news. The good news is we are going to have this awesome new enchant system in. Uh, keep in mind this enchant system is a work in progress, meaning uh, we've custom built this uh, layers upon layers of duct tape. So there will be some changes. Some things will get better. Uh, some things will get buffed. Some things will get nerfed. Some things will be added. Some things will be taken away. Some things will change. So uh, just understand if you know something works funky, doesn't work, or works too good, then there will be some changes made. The bad news is this change is going to uh, precede a world wipe. So we will be wiping the world of factions. We will all be starting over from scratch, um, which is a bummer. But, like I said, the good news is... The good news is you will keep your MCMMO levels. So you won't have to start those over. And obviously, if you bought anything on TDK Network Store, any spawners or anything along those lines, um, any ranks, et cetera, et cetera, obviously you'll keep those. So uh, when you log on, we'll probably manually run those commands again. So it may take us, you know, 24 to 48 hours to get everybody their spawners and such like that, but you will get them. That being said, it's going to probably take you 24 to 48 hours to get a base that you're going to be wanting to put your spawners back in anyway. So... That being said, let's take a look at the new enchant system. Um, this enchant system is going to have some similarities with uh, enchants from, or with enchant systems maybe from other servers that you've seen. Um, we will have some pretty cool features though. Uh, basically, previously the way it worked is you just went to the enchanting table, plugged it in, and you did your shit, and you got stuff. It doesn't work that way anymore. Uh, at this point, you are going to get books, and they're going to look like this. You can see we have Common Simple, Uncommon Simple, Rare Simple, Epic Simple, Legendary Simple, Common Complex, Uncommon Complex, Rare Complex, Epic Complex, Legendary Complex, Common Cryptic, Uncommon Cryptic, Rare Cryptic, Epic Cryptic, and Legendary Cryptic. These are all of the different books. Um, think of these as crates. Uh, basically, you have a you have a die roll to get a specific amount or a specific level of enchants. So uh, the common, let me hang on, let me get my mind back around it here. One second, the shit. The simples, the complex, and the cryptics, that's the three levels. So simple is one through three, and then complex is one through five. Yes, no? No, no. Simple is one. Complex is one through three. Cryptic is one through five. There you go. Okay. And then uh, common, uncommon, rare, legendary, and epic are the different types of enchants. So, for instance, you know, I'm just throwing this out here, but like, you know, dropping a nuke from orbit and blowing up the entire world would be a legendary enchant, and stubbing somebody's toe violently would be a common enchant. So, obviously, those were two random enchants that I made up out of my, my face hole. But, you know, anyways. Uh, vote crates. Uh, vote crates. At the moment, you aren't going to be able to see what's in the vote crate. We will probably be changing that uh, soon so you can at least see what you have a chance of winning. Um, but basically, the vote crates are going to give you uh, possibilities of left-click to roll the re-roll crate. What is a re-roll crate? Re-roll crate is a crate you get sometimes when you vote, and it allows you to re-roll. Nice. So the winner, the, the awards from here, it looks like a thousand gold. Uh, holy shit, I got three epic books, one uncommon book, and one common commonplex book, and a bunch Dang. of steak. All right. Whoa, what the f You used an auto clicker, you hacker. <laughs> Fucking hacker. That was an entire stack. <laughs> wow. So anyways, those are the voting crates that you get. So when the voting sites will be added, hopefully tonight or tomorrow, probably tomorrow. Um... And you'll be able to go on the sites and vote. You get a voting crate. You can open the crate. You have a chance of getting books. Um, alternatively, you can also buy the books on the website. That will be up tomorrow. Um, and then we will be adding signs of some kind at spawn in the very, very, very near future that will allow you to purchase different books. Um, and there will be there will be some other stuff. There will be some other stuff. Also, 
It is our one year anniversary this weekend. It's the one year anniversary of the launch of TDK Network with TDK Prison. So there will be a, a rather large 50% off sale this weekend. So if you've been holding off uh, using your lunch money or your milk money on uh, things for TDK Network this weekend will be the, the time you want to do it. So let's, uh, did you just follow your death? Let's, let's go over how things, uh, how things work. So um, that we, we've covered basically how you get the books, voting crates, purchase off the website, uh, soon signs at spawn, and that we will have certain boss mobs throughout the world that you will go and fight that will have special abilities and will whoop your, whoop your butthole uh, that will also drop them. Once you have them, you're going to have these pretty little books here. So I've, I've got a common complex and I've got an ep three epic complexes. Um, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. CI, kit, flame. We're going to open some badass ones because, you know, that's what you guys want to see. You guys don't want to see the garbage ones. We're going to do the badass ones. Let me move all this stuff off. Okay, so we have enchant crates. Let's go with the legendary enchant crates, and we're going to open four of them. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right, so that gives us four of these legendary simple enchanted books. So we go one, two, three, four, and that gives us four enchants. So we have Pyromaniac, one. We have Ward, one. We have Pyromaniac 1, and we have Pyromaniac 1. Now, you're going to look at, looking at these. Apparently, you guys are really into Pyromania, apparently. So, you can see this one goes for armor. This one goes for bow. Hang on, I want to get a couple more so I can show you one of the other types of enchants. Oh, wow. We did get some different kinds. Legendary Complex, Legendary Simple, and Legendary Cryptic. Pyromaniac equals massive Molotov explosion around the player. Yeah, that sounds deadly. All right, there we go. All right, so bow, 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 rift one, bow, pyromaniac three, holy shit, uh, pyromaniac five, holy, holy shit, uh, piercing one. So I, uh, I'm noticing something here, Solar. Yes. The, the, the tier, the 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 epic enchants seem to be like 85 percent bow enchants there are a lot of bow enchants at the top level at the moment mainly because the bow ones are so ridiculously amazing gotcha gotcha um honestly most melee players will probably prefer to stick to epic i believe yeah epic is the one with the most melee i believe gotcha gotcha so i'm gonna i'm gonna need a couple bows here so let me do slash but more Legendary can really mess things up between Rift and Pyromaniac. Um, what does Rift, Rift do? Basically, it allows you to, when it procs, swap places with a player. So if somebody's peeking from their base and you hit them, you can swap places and boom, you're oh, in wow. their base. They're outside of their base. So that's that's basically like the Dota ability of uh, Vengeful Spirit. Wow. Wow. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so here's the... Let's go with the, the, the two ridiculous enchants here. All right, so we have Pyromaniac 5 and Piercing 3. So you can notice the, the, the enchant here has a couple notifications on it. Uh, specifically, success rate followed by instability. So the way these basically work is success rate is the chance of the enchant as Solar says, going into a succeed state. So look at it from this point, you have to pass two yeses to make it at work. So the first one is whether or not it even functions. So whether or not it's even going to possibly complete. Then once it's past that check, whether or not it eats your weapon. So this basically has a 5% chance of succeeding and a 70% chance of eating your weapon. So the 95 you have a 95 percent chance to not even make it to the possibility of eating your weapon and then you have a 30 percent chance of it not eating your weapon does that make sense so to show you guys we're gonna go ahead and apply this to the bow the enchant vaporizes leaving you with your weapon intact so had that fucked up it would have succeeded but eaten my weapon now you guys are going to notice that these chants enchants are going to be very very hard to put on weapons um there are going to be scroll that you can buy um I'm not sure how we're going to allow this to enter the world. Um, it will be purchasable through the store. Um, if you've ever gotten a uh, nickname token in the store, then you'll be familiar with this. Basically what it's going to do is it gives you the ability to make one of your things here 100% chance success. So 
you decide which enchant, like right there at Pyromania 5. I'm like, I want that on my damn bow. And so you say, okay, well, here's their scroll. Here's my enchant. You give that to an admin. They will give you a book that will 100% work. And then at that point, you put it on your bow. Bam, you have the enchant. So that may, we'll most likely put that as ultra rare drops, uh, maybe from boat crates, ultra rare drops, maybe from specific world bosses that we're going to be instituting. Um, keep in mind, this is our first pass of the enchants. So there are going to be some OP enchants. Uh, there's going to be some underpowered enchants. We're going to have to make some tweaks to them. So keep that in mind. Once again, there's going to be some overpowered enchants. There's going to be some underpowered enchants. We will be making changes. So if you get one, that's amazing. You're like, oh, this is badass. I can blow up the entire server with a pull of a trigger. Odds are you won't be able to do that for long. Or, oh, man, I put this enchant on and it like makes my bow do negative damage and it hurts me and it heals the enemy instead of he hurting the enemy and healing me. That probably won't happen for long either. So keep those things in mind. We will be fixing the errors, whether they're positive for you or negative for you. So that's basically how the system works. Again, you know, you got commons, uncommons, rare, epics, and legendaries. Um, it's going to be easier to customize the weapons that you want, but it's going to be harder for you to get the ones that you want. Does that make sense? So let's look at some of the more normal enchants. Let's do a CI. Let's do kit, flame, boom. Let's move all of this stuff up real quick. And let's do, let's start with some rare chests. So let's do one, two, three, four. There we go. Keep in mind, lower enchants are much easier to obtain on the weapon. Legendary is cray. That's what Solar just said. That's basically what I was saying. All right, so here we go. We've opened up a bunch of these. Let's see what we've got. Um, we have adrenaline. So you can see the difference here between a rare and a legendary. You have a 40% chance success rate. That means that's a 60% chance to fail as opposed to a 95% chance. And you have a 30% chance to blow up your weapon as opposed to a 70% chance previously. So this is adrenaline. Um, we'll put that on a pick and you can see we got it the first time. Uh, adrenaline two, uh, we'll put that on an ax and it failed. Uh, revulsion one, so basically what happens every time you look at solar, uh, we'll put that, what is it? A, it's an armor enchant. And that one succeeded. Well, let's see. Do we have anything good? There's Revulsion 2. We'll put that on these. That one succeeded. Uh, so you guys kind of get an idea that, uh, you know, the lower it is, the easier it is, the higher it is, the harder it is. So, yes, that's going to mean some of those enchants are going to be almost impossible to put in without a scroll. But that means those weapons and such are going to be absolutely godlike once they do get created and they're going to be insanely high demand so let's say you know bob spends all of his time you know going through all these enchants setting up these enchants and has a decent set of gear that means if you kill him you can get some pretty good shit also means if you've got some good shit you're going to be a little hesitant about using said good shit and just you know running around and tea farming or teabagging people for no reason. So, did I say tea farming? I said tea farming because I was reading right as you said carrot farm. <laughs> Damn butthole. I'm gonna punch you if I can get up there. Oh god. Hey! I can't hit you back. You know what? Fine. We'll just do it this way. I win. Okay. No. Anyways, guys, that is the general gist of our new enchanting system. Solo, do you have anything you want to add? Uh, or did, or did I cover it all? That's it. Yep. <laughs> Yep. So uh, this will launch uh, Friday with the live stream. We will start the live stream early and probably go for the majority of the day. Uh, make some progress, make some items, kick some ass, take some names, and uh, probably die retardedly, repeatedly for you guys' enjoyment. Anyways, guys, hope that you guys are excited about this. If you are, please slap that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll catch you guys in the next clip.